So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my hunter, how he looks, what I do, and all of, my, all of the stuff. Literally, I'm just going to be showing off my hunter right now because I've been wanting to do this video since a long time. So I don't care what you guys say. I'm excited. I'm going to show you my hunter. This is how my hunter looks. This is how he looks. Usually, this is how he looks. Most of the time, though, if I'm going to be real with you, he looks like this. I look like a fucking hawk man. I look so cool. It looks it looks dope as shit. But like this is my only armor set. This is one of many. I have so many armor sets that I use like so much. Like I have my PvP armor. I have my Iron Banner armor. I have my this and that. Like it's it's so cool. Like I love it. It's it's one of the things that I love about this. Let me see. This is what I usually run when Iron Banner comes in that way. I got, you know, gotta represent, gotta represent. This is what I usually wear, which is one of my favorite sets from Iron Banner because all the other ones are pretty uh, garbage in my opinion. But if, because I have a rule when I wear armor is I have to wear specific sets of armor that are either not from the same season or not from the same like thing. So if you see clearly, I'm usually not wearing the same thing. The only reason I'm wearing these two that are from the same season is because they're not from the same event. This is from Eververse and this is from Iron Banner. And this one is one of my favorite arms for the hunters. It looks really cool. But if I were to be like, no, like really you have to use something else, I would probably switch, a, switch up this to like none of these because these don't count. So actually. Yeah, none of these because these don't count but this is the way I've been doing it I I love how my my hunter usually looks he looks really cool he looks like a bird man but not only that but I have weapons as well like I have revoker which is one of my favorite snipers which is funny because my review for it actually made the gun seem really negative but in reality the gun shoots nice feels nice it's really nice that I get that shot back considering I'm still kind of a baby sniper so like I'm not the most confident when it comes to shooting my shot, so that's cool. Obviously got mountain top, like let's be real. This gun is fucking gross. Still have not done a, a review for this, but I will probably do one today. I love this. I love it. Like I love it. It's it's good. It's good. Only reason I don't have enough kills is because, you know, I have to kill someone with it. And usually what I do is I kill I shoot this and then use my secondary. So I have a bunch of shit, like honestly, this is one of my favorite snipers, Izanagi's Burden. Let me uh, switch down so you guys don't see the pathetic eight fucking kills that I've gotten. This is usually what I run. Um, I don't use Breakneck as much as I used to, but yeah, yeah I still have it just in case. Callus Mini Tool, let me talk about this real quick before I go to Recluse. This one is one of my favorite ones right now, even though it's basically just one perk away from being Recluse, because it has Feeding Frenzy. But I really like using this, especially when I'm kind of burnt out from Recluse because I do get burnt out. I feel like the gun is sometimes on easy mode, so I do like to switch it up sometimes. But Loon is how I have not even wrote up a script for this one yet, but I will soon. I think it's fine. It's still three taps. It's still nice. It feels nice. I don't know if I'm going to go for Not Forgotten, but that's just neither here nor there. Recluse, let's talk about it. This gun's not broken. Whatever you heard is false. It's not broken. It really isn't. It's look at like look at how much enemies I've killed versus like people I've killed. I'm only look look at that. Nothing. I usually never really use Recluse in Crucible unless someone's pissing me off and I just take it out just to like wipe them down. But if I'm being real, my loadout usually looks something like this. That's it. This is what I usually go in, in in Crucible. If I'm really, if I'm feeling extra spicy, I'll go with my fucking Callus. But usually, it's this. It's always a sniper now. It used to be a shotgun. I'm really bad with shotguns now because I'm out of practice. But I f I like sniping so much better. My kills actually feel earned. But that's just me. I have Retold Tail with Slice Shot and Quick Draw, which I didn't even know they had Quick Draw. No wonder. But this is one of my favorite guns. I I love this gun. 
I love it a lot. Beloved, I wish I had a better role for it until we get the whole new change out. I'm not going to really do anything with this because I, know, I don't want to go back to the Menagerie for just one, one reward. I don't, it's not worth it in my opinion. But I don't think this role's bad in any means. I, I like it a lot. I, box of breathing's cool. It can actually kill people in the, with their body so, most of the time. And Ikelos for when I need it. You know, typical. Borealis I usually have all the time because I like to run Nightfalls usually by myself if no one's on. And I usually put match, match whatever it's called, the one where you have to shoot the shield with the corresponding burn. I really usually do that because it's easy, really easy, and then I just kill them off with the one on top here. That's it for this. Obviously, I got three LMGs for the burns for for the nightfall. Not because I'm gross, even though 20 put 21% delirium in PvP is not even that great in my opinion. But Hammerhead, obviously have this. This is a this is just gross in PvP really. Like can't really fight it. Bellowing Giant, I used to have the one from whatchamacallit from Bigambit, but I ended up getting the same perks almost. And I like the way this looks better. It looks way better, so I just decided I'm just gonna use this instead. Windigo G uh, GL3, obviously you guys already see the saw the the review I did for this gun, I love this gun. There's nothing bad I can say about this gun other than that like, it eats up your your uh, light, your ball of light thing. I don't have the ornament for it yet because they haven't sold it. If worse comes to worse, I might actually buy it outright because I've changed a few opinions about Eververse. They're still bad, but I mean, I'm an adult, so like, I'm allowed to splurge, I guess. I don't know. I'll make a video on that maybe. 21% delirium. You already know it. It's a. Uh, it's good. It's good in Gra Gambit. It's really good in Gambit, actually. I think it could be better though, but that's just me. Also, don't like that it's just the same model as another fucking gun. But that's literally every, literally every gun that we've gotten as a pinnacle weapon. So it's not much of a complaint. Fixed odds. Obviously, only have it because of the burn. If uh. If the raid one is a solar, because I haven't seen it yet, if it is a solar, I'm switching it out immediately because I hate how this looks. And then I have a 1k voice, which I got not too long ago. Thankfully, I don't have the ornament for it. Really disappointed in that. But yeah, I got that. Really happy. Thunderlord, obviously, really good too. All that shit. And the coolest part for my, t my hunter for me is that it's very Cabal themed. So... I have the Cabal Drop Pod shell, which I like a lot, but I also have the Cabal ship that you get from the Nightfall. And I don't care what you say, this is Cabal related because you get it from a Cabal Nightfall, so fuck you if you don't agree with me. And then the Skulking Fox, which is the Cabal ship, which I think is dope as shit that we got. And that's pretty much it. I have a few things here and there, but that's pretty much my video. I wanted to show you guys like my hunter because I've never actually shown you my hunter or anyone to be honest so this is how he usually looks I know this I know the graviton forfeits garbage but I like it because I'm biased from when that when it was good in destiny one so yeah that's why I wear it still and I got the shader for it because it looks cool so it's another reason but yeah Hopefully you guys like this video. I would do more of these. I want to do them seasonal. That way like you guys can see like my progress. I will have pictures of this season's uh, armor look to last season's armor look because I still do have those pictures. Actually, I might put them up right now. But yeah, I, I really enjoy this. Like this is the type of shit I really enjoy in Destiny. Like the whole different type of uh, basically fashion frame from Warframe. It's basically fashion frame. I really like this. I really judge uh, Titans and Warlocks and Hunters that look like garbage because it's like it's not that hard not to look cool, dude. Like it really isn't. Like look at my Hunter. He looks cool. Like he looks so cool. So when people are like, "Yeah, no, it's hard to make a cool," it's like it's not. It really isn't. Like it's, it's honestly not that hard to make someone look cool. Actually, no, not that. Not that way. Yeah, I think a lot of the armor in the, in the game is good for the hunters, unfortunately. The Titans, uh, 
Well, when we get to the Titans, you'll see why I say that. And the Warlock's even worse. But, yeah, this was my video, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys thought about my Hunter. Uh, do you guys like it? Do you guys think it's shit? Uh, obviously that one... Come on, let's be real. This, this guy's not shit. But let me know what you guys thought. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.